Hello and welcome to VR Workout Tips. My name is Frank aka Supreme Bacon Overlord and this video I'm just going to talk about ways to keep your VR workouts consistent. Uh, so sometimes after a while you get bored of games because you played every song like 30 times or you played a game that you just flat out got bored after you know you got bored of it after a while so I'm just gonna talk about what I do to help out in these types of situations first thing you want to do is start a routine it can be daily every other day maybe two or three days out of the week whatever works best for you just make sure it's something you can handle uh, if you're a person that doesn't work out uh, that often you want to start off slow and slowly build your way up. Make a plan of what games you want to play and how long you want your workout to be. Uh, when I first started doing this, I would do 20 minutes of Beat Saver followed by 30 minutes of Box VR. Then as my library grew, I started putting more games into the mix like Power Beats, Thrill of the Fight, and Fruit Ninja VR. Uh, the workout time eventually increased to 60 minutes and nowadays um, my workouts are from 90 to 2 hours uh, daily uh, I take the weekends off sometimes and sometimes I take like an extra day off at the week but for the most part it's 5 days a week with weekends off um, my current routine is 15 minutes of Beat Saver 15 to 30 minutes of audio trip, 15 minutes of power beats VR, and then 30 minutes of box VR or Fit XR, which you know that's what it's known as today for the Quest version. Uh, and then I fill in the rest of the time with miscellaneous games like uh, Pistol Whip, Hit Stream, X Booster, Punch Pad Workout, Boombox, Confusion. Uh, etc etc I'm not gonna sit here and name them all but you get the picture now from time to time I do get tired of doing it over and over the same routine if you run into that problem try playing a little of each game you have I usually look through my library and I play a little of each game maybe like five to ten minutes of each game uh, even try games you haven't played for a long time I go through all my sources like SideQuest, SteamVR and the Oculus Store sometimes you'll stick to a game a little longer and you'll end up adding a game or two to your routine and in some cases you might change all the songs in your routine uh, so just go through your library and see what games uh, catch your interest again or regain your interest also check all your sources um, for new maybe cheap or even free games that might help you out even if you are even if they are simple looking uh, I would still try to check them out you'll be surprised sometimes they can help you out sometimes they can't uh, Steam and SideQuest have some free games and if you don't like them uh, you can just simply uninstall them a few games I have found that were free were One Punch, Hit Stream, and Boxing Coach for SideQuest. Uh, for Steam VR and just PC VR in general, I found the Against Demo, uh, Ludicrous Speed, and Flight Fit VR. There is also a ton of games that are under $10 available on SideQuest, the Oculus Store, and also on Steam VR. If you have the money to spend, uh, give some of those games a try, and you can always refund them if you played under two hours or you feel ripped off. But just make sure you don't play over two hours so that 
you can return them if you need to. There is also um, a few games that I just throw in there just as fill-ins or what I like to call miscellaneous games. Uh, a few are uh, Blade and Sorcery, Ninja Legends, and Until You Fall. Uh, you just gotta make sure if you use like uh, sword slashing games uh, that you do full swings. And also make sure you have the space to avoid wrecking your controllers or getting injured. Climbing games can be good too, but for me, I have to be playing them for like extended periods of time. Um, you know, just so I can start feeling the burn a little bit or start getting tired. Um, but for people who don't move around a whole lot, uh, climbing games can be handy for them. Uh, boxing games are good too. You get tired really fast. If you just start throwing your punches non-stop without strategy, uh, so you know that might make you quit a little quicker than usual. Uh, sometimes I'll go to the punching bag and mess around with it for a while on games like Creed, Knockout League, and Punch Pad Workout. Uh, boxing games tend to have many games built in them. Uh, if you choose not to fight and burn out, you know, like let's say you fight and you burn out, you burn out too quickly. Uh, games like Creed has, you know, Creed has the punching mitts exercise, which can also make for a great workout because you are forced to dodge and hit, dodge and hit. Knockout League has Reflex Alley, which is an awesome workout. I love that. I love Reflex Alley uh, from Knockout League. Uh, you are constantly dodging dumbbells, uh, blocking basketballs, and punching balloons. Uh, Knockout League has punching bag drills as well. Uh, but Creed and Punch Pad Workout have the better punching bags. Basketball games like uh, Gym Class and Pick Up Basketball are good to play as well. Um, but for me, these are also these are also games that fall into the miscellaneous category. Uh, so I just use them as fill-ins. Uh, but again, if you don't move around much, these will get you on the right path. First person shooters uh, with a VR treadmill can help as well, but VR treadmills take up too much space and cost too much money. Maybe that in the future uh, there will be a smaller one or, or a cheaper one, uh, like an affordable one that people can use. Uh, but for right now, they're too expensive, they're too big. Um, but if you have the money, and you think you can uh, do it, uh, just why not go ahead and give a VR treadmill a try. Uh, you can try to run around too, you can try to run around too, um, but be careful and make sure you have someone watching you if you decide to do this in your backyard or at some huge empty lot. Uh, also make sure the sun is down to avoid getting sunlight in your lenses. So just be careful if you decide to do this in a huge uh, empty space. Ping pong, air hockey, and tennis games can also be used as villains, but you won't burn as much calories compared to the other game types. A good game to play is Racket NX. Uh, when it comes to these types of games. Uh, obviously, if you have the space to play tennis, that can be a workout too. Um, but if you're just standing in one place swinging around, uh, you know, swinging your racket or your, or your uh, ping pong paddle, uh, then this probably, it'll be a decent workout. Uh, but you're just uh, moving your hands around, you know, to swing. Uh, so I don't consider that like a full workout, but for those people that you know they they don't work out too much, it you know for them it'll be a good workout. So this next next topic uh, is uh, try to find ways uh, to extend the life of games you have purchased. 
Uh, so to the extend the life of your games, try downloading additional music packs if available for your, you know, for the game you want to play. Obviously, Beat Saber has a lot of music packs. Some are free and some are not. I got all the official music packs on the Quest version of Beat Saber. You can also look for custom songs and add them to your games if it's possible. Uh, for the fir uh, for the PC version of Beat Saber, I have a buttload of custom levels with music I love and even music I don't like. I usually visit sites uh, like the Beat Saber Reddit page or BeatSaber.com and look at some of the maps with custom songs. If it looks fun with a good workout, then I'll give it a try. There is also the Beat Sage website where you can upload a song and it will auto generate the level for you. Uh, most of the time they come out pretty decent on Beat Sage. Uh, you can also do custom songs for the Quest version of Beat Saber, uh, but for the Quest version, uh, you have to re download your songs after each update, and in some cases, uninstall the game, delete the folder from your quest and then reinstall it. Um, so for the quest version, I, try, I got it to work one time, um, but then I just got fed up with um, having to constantly uh, uninstall it and then put my songs back. Uh, I only do custom songs now for the PC version of Beat Saber. With the PC version of Beat Saber, uh, you don't have to keep downloading your custom songs. They will still be there. Um, the only time you do have to uh, re-download them is like if they have like uh, like a special effects uh, pack, like the Noodles uh, extensions or one of those. Um, but for the most part, the songs will still be there even after you update it. Box VR, Power Beach VR, and Boom Dojo are games that can auto-generate maps for you as well with the songs of your choice. Uh, there was a short period of time that I got bored of Box VR, uh, so when I learned that the PC version lets you use custom songs, I bit the bullet and I bought the PC version uh, on the Steam store. Uh, I went into Box VR and then had it auto generate maps for me. Uh, I just had to go into Box VR and browse for the folder where I have my MP3s uh, and then waited a couple of minutes and the level was created. Shortly after that, the game became more interested. Uh, the game became more interesting and so I added it back into my routine. Unfortunately, the Quest version, even back when it was still Box VR, uh, it does not allow custom songs. I wish Box VR came with a map editor, but unfortunately it does not and it is now uh, fixed FitXR for the uh, Quest version. Uh, the PC version will eventually uh, convert to FitXR. Uh, sometime in the future and I really hope they keep the custom songs feature uh, but with them adding a subscription model to it like the quest version uh, there's a possibility that custom songs will not be included uh, so by that point uh, it'll probably run its course for me um, I might play it time to from time to time uh, but yeah, I'll probably stop playing it. Also, if you think you can pull this off, try your hand at creating your own custom maps. Uh, you can make them to your liking, but this can be time, cons time consuming, but worth it in the end. Audio Trip and Power Beats have easy to use map editors built into the game. Uh, Beat Saber and Boombox also have map editors that are a little harder to use. Um, there is plenty of YouTube videos that show you how to make maps for Beat Saber, but it was too hard for me uh, to figure out and 
also very time consuming. Uh, and then with uh, Beat Saver, you gotta make sure you have the timing right um, on those beats. And when you hit the blocks. Boombox hasn't been around much time, but hopefully some tutorials will pop up in the future uh, for their map editor. Uh, I did try uh, fiddling with the map editor for Boombox, uh, but had trouble figuring some things out. Ragnarok is another game that has custom maps available on Discord. Audio Trip has custom songs as well, or I mean, custom maps. Uh, I just found out about those uh, recently and have been playing that game a lot more this past week. Obviously, there's more games out there that allow custom songs. Uh, the best way to find out is to see if that specific game has a Reddit or a Discord page. And then uh, somewhere in there, you'll probably find links uh, to custom songs. So now we're getting into the subject of choosing the games that suit you best. Um, if there's a demo available to try, go ahead and try it out first before you make a purchase to make sure it's some, you know, it's a routine that you can do or it's something you can do. Uh, I had injured myself at one point where I had problems bending down to pick stuff off the ground. So I started playing games with little or no squats like Beat Saber and Fruit Ninja. Uh, Beat Saber has crouching moments, uh, but I, you know, not much of it, and I just crouched enough where it didn't hurt. The main focus here was to make sure I could at least get some exercise in until I was I fully healed. If you can't do something like burpees, or, well, burpees is like a big thing for me, um, you know, don't buy a game that the main focus is to do burpees like a VR workout. Uh, eventually, you'll work up to something more drastic or something that requires more of you. Um, in case you're limited right now, uh, so just work up to that. Uh, and so, you know, so before making any, before anything, make sure it's something your body can handle and that you have the space available to do your thing. Remember to stretch and do some warm up exercises. Also, uh, it's important, uh, while this is important, uh, make sure you disable auto fail if the game has that option so that you can keep going even if you mess up. Uh, as far as uh, warm up and stretching, there is lots of different types of warm up and stretching exercises all over YouTube. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you which one is the best. Uh, you probably can find out just by searching YouTube uh, to see what would work best for you. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. If you find this video was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. My goal is to eventually have at least one video per week, but we'll have more if the time permits. Uh, these videos are not top-notch quality, so I apologize, but hopefully the information provided is useful uh, to viewers out there. If my information is useful, I'll continue to keep checking out these videos. Uh, I must also mention that I'm not a personal trainer like some of the other uh, VR fitness YouTubers, but in some cases I feel it's better to learn from someone who's at your level or slightly ahead. Uh, it's sometimes better to follow closely in someone's footsteps than to learn from someone who's preaching on top of a mountain. Anyways, that's all I got. Uh, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button or the dislike button, blah blah blah, all that crazy stuff. And that's it. I'm out. Peace.